Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We have some exciting round one ECAC playoffs, and I am joined by the one, the only, magnificent up top Lars Newt. How you doing tonight, man? I'm so good. It's so exciting to be able to come out here and work with just my favoritest of favorite crews. We've got Leechy in the background, but he's not what's important here. It's us Back on there. the screen. We're it's what's important here. Yep. It's Foof <laughs> and I on the screen. And actually, what's actually important here, now that we're done joking around, is we have some ECAC playoffs. Like you mentioned right now, your Gothic Knights going up against Sunni Canton Kangaroos in the first round of these playoffs. Right off the bat, food, thoughts, questions, concerns, comments, hopes, and or dreams. Well, this is the first round of win mm. and continue, lose and go home. So Lars, every time, every goal, every touch, every anything is going to be so important for both of these teams. And so when you start to look at the tails of the tape, you see that both of these teams are coming in at four and four and, you know, could be a very good match to start our night off, hopefully. Yeah, I think a nice even matchup to start here. We've got a bit of an interesting lineup with the Gothic Knights. Wells playing from in Brazil. So that should be an interesting thing. But we played with we saw Wells play earlier in the season from Brazil. They don't seem to they don't seem to have too much of an issue with they handle that high ping. Not a problem in the world. And then also Alpha Hybrid, fourth player on the roster, will be playing tonight as well. And that's gonna bring kind of an interesting dynamic to this group. In addition, I you don't know how many other ways I can say as well. In addition, what else? <laughs> Perhaps. Uh, additionally, um, I don't know. But the, the big thing is you have that fourth player stepping up. So now it's going to be very important to see how they can bring that different momentum. So I'm very excited to see what they can bring. And really, it's just can they shake this up to kind of stir something for Sunni? Because the Ruser might have a game plan coming in. And oh, no, that third person's missing now. They don't know what this rotation is going to look like. They know they're going to be looking for Wells. And they're going to be looking for the other two. But like all of a sudden, you're throwing that new cog in the wheel. It just could stir everything up in a good way or a bad way. And we're hoping for your Gothic Knights that it will go well for them tonight. Well, I'm trying to do a little bit of background work here as we talk through this. So if you could go ahead and, and waffle on for a moment. I know people want to hear your voice more than they want to hear mine anyways. And I'm going to be looking to see what is happening in the background. Well, right now, we're just trying to make sure everyone getting in. So it's just a little bit tight here. You know, the new update, <laughs> everything going on. Epic small games company, large. You know how it is. All the fun stuff here. But really, it's just tactical stalling from the teams. They're trying to get the tactical timeouts. You know, the coaches <laughs> are probably in both of their ears trying to make those last pregame adjustments. You know, any and all tactical edges you can get. But, you know, NJCU is so excited here. And I am personally excited, Lars. And, you know, it's a best of five. But I'm hoping for only three or four games and we can see us move on so we can get some more Rocket League later tonight. Yeah, the faster we can get on to that next round, because obviously Gothic Knights, they're going to just stomp their way through the kangaroos because, I mean, how can you not? But as we hopefully get through this one quickly, trying to get the lobby set up, like you said, updates. Oh, they're so much fun. When you get new updates, you have everything just breaks. Uh, we're broadcasting doing some stuff with Baka's mod <laughs> yesterday and everything just doesn't work like it's supposed to. It's whatever we have. We're very talented programmers behind the scenes and they get it sorted fairly quickly and we get back on the road. But on the flip side is that you've got a nasty habit of Rocket League just rolling back settings that you thought you had set before and all of a sudden nothing works. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah. what I have to say. We just some things just stop working. <laughs> well, I got to say the important thing is, you know, if you have not had the chance to be with us as much as you hopefully should have been, I want to give you a little bit of a rundown here because these guys on the NJCU squad have built a little bit of a tendency. These guys like to try and control the pace of the games. They play a little bit more defensively oriented and you talk about him, the Brazilian superstar himself, Wilson. He has been that striker for the team and likes to be the man out front, likes to be that flag runner, likes to be the guy getting everything going. So look for him to get involved early and often, not only taking the shots, but finding ways to get those teammates involved and get that new player involved in the rotation. Well, speaking of new players, we finally have the last player in the, the lineup ready to rock and roll. And as we get underway into game number one, this is a best of five fight yep. to stay alive going forward. Representing the Gothic Knights in round one, Alpha Hybrid, Charisma, and Wilson taking on Sunni Canton Kangaroos, Owl, Sharky, and Twisty Attorney. Five minutes on the clock. Let's get it on. 
I gotta say, I love the name Twisty Turny here, but Wilson with a nice push on the kickoff. Now it's up to Sharky here, throwing it on that sidewall, trying to find something here. A nice demo there from Twisty Turny, flipping the field. Wilson has to get back the big save there, not allowing that early goal. Now it's Wilson, a misread there, so it's up to Sharky here. Another solid 50 from Charisma. Charisma looking for Alpha, who is a little bit too overzealous. Charisma trying to get back down. Not able to get a favorable touch there. It's up to Wilson here in the corner. A little bit slow here. Sharky trying to find something here for the ruse as Wilson. Getting it, trying to get it past one, but Twisty denies that one quickly. A little bit of a feeling out process here. Lars is Sharky's trying to find something again. As you would expect out of an early, early game in the series. We've only got 40 seconds gone. Both these teams just trying to probe the defenses on the other end. See what they're capable of. Defensive end, a couple of big demos so far. Three demos in the game, and all of them are the Kangaroos on the Gothic Knights. We need to find a way to match that kind of level of aggression and turn that back on its head. Alpha Hybrid going up for this one. Alpha Hybrid, fun fact, is a lower plat level, level player, so it'll be interesting to see how they take advantage of some power shots, some well-timed opportunities. Charisma just touched away by Sharky. I was about to say, it might not matter what your overalls are because Charisma was trying to put one in early but couldn't find it there. Now it's up to Al and company as the Ruse a little bit of a back half here. But Alpha trying to get something going here, looking for Charisma, but Twisty Turny trying to twist and turn that defense all around. Al will try to find it off that backwards. Your Gothic Knights on this defensive end here. All three players ready for this as Sharky is denied solidly by the Brazilian himself, Wilson. Looking for a turnaround, Twisty Turny has to put it off and he ends up getting that 50 points from Psyonix. Alpha in the corner has to beat Sharky here. The nice pass back as Twisty Turny can't handle this. Charisma turning it back around the Gothic Knights, trying to find some consistent pressure here as Charisma bouncing it off the wall, coming in as Wilson, but Twisty Turny denies that one again. A nice couple of opportunities there coming, but not able just to knock that door down yet. Well, then NJCU has found most of the shooting opportunities. That one's right on the goal line. It's missed by the Knights, and they just barely get away with not being scored on. Still dangerously in front of the net. Charisma delays the pain a little bit. Twisty turny. That'll be off the post. Doesn't matter. Wilson is there. There's a shot into the top corner from Sharky. I was just saying how most of the shots have been with the Gothic Knights, but a quick flurry on the other end leaves Kangaroos in the lead. Well, Twisty Turney got the pass and got a bump there on that backside on Wilson, just making it that last man back. And so a great job of finding that goal with Sharky. But your Gothic Knights are nowhere near out of this game. Only down one and still a ton of time left here as Twisty Turney now finding a lot of open space. A big save there from Charisma, who's going to turn this around. No one home has one to beat, but Sharky standing tall, trying to get the 50, but can't find it this time. Wilson too overzealous. Alpha trying to find it up. Wilson now has to beat Owl, but a good 50 there turns this away. Twisty turning with a big dunk there and putting it in. All of a sudden, your Gothic Knights are quickly down by two. Well, we're only about halfway through this game. Four seconds past halftime. There's plenty of time to get this one back. We've seen opportunities develop in the offensive end, primarily in the transition. We know that's very typical for the Gothic Knights. They like to hold on to some defensive pressure and then send that ball down in a quick transition play. They've had good opportunities open net up off of that. They just haven't been able to capitalize on it going forward. So two minutes to make that click for this game ticks down to zero what is a best of five so you don't have to worry about too too much in this game one it's a little bit of a feeling out process so you just want to take what you learn here but i know the gothic knights want to try and pull this one back and try and take game one here is now sharkly trying to find something getting bumped around here as wilson in the corner soft touch again has the pass out to charisma but a little bit too slow there and now twisty tourney nothing but open net and going to score another one here as the gothic knights go down by three Gothic Knights are diving at this ball a little bit out of position here and are allow that transition to come all the way back the other way. Need to see them manage the spacing a little bit better. Recognize when you're third to back out and just try to buy time for your teammates to cycle back and become a factor in the defensive play. I like to see a little bit of physicality open up as well. Four demos and all of them kangaroos on Knights. Well, the Ruse have done a good job of controlling the pace, controlling the ball, controlling the cars as Charisma and Wilson have to combine there for the save. Alpha, though, a little bit slow there. Gets 50 hard by Twisty Turning. Charisma trying to get it past one, but Al putting that pressure back on Wilson, getting that save. And now it's up to Sharky here, throwing it up, just trying to control this ball, kill the clock a little bit. They're up by three. They're very, very comfortable here. Charisma trying to flip this field again, needs to find something in the corner. It's bouncing back out. Alpha a little bit too out of position. Wilson playing slow, trying to be good. A good job by Alpha to get back on the ball here, but now it's dangerous. All three NGC players are in this goal. Now Twisty trying to find it, beats Wilson, but can't get to the ball. Al, though, open net, gonna know we can't get it to go. Twisty Turney can't find it either, and Charisma gets this one out for the time being. 
Huge pressure down on NJCU's net. They need to find a way to get this ball clear. The first step in scoring on your opponent is to get it off your own goal line. And they've just been pinned back for a while. Alpha trying to make this clear happen gets beat out by Owl, but it does allow the double coming in the corner to go unpunished. And Alpha finally picking up some of that physical play. I like to see that contribution. A good job of disrupting offensive pressure for the Kangaroos. Definitely, that's something we want to see as we head into game two here probably is right now we're just trying to find that put back goal, that nice momentum stealer as Charisma trying to find a shot mid, but Twisty turning ready for this one. Now it's up to Owl here trying to find it off the ceiling, but that bounce makes it a little bit hard to read. Now Twisty turning near post shot. Walston denies it again. Another big save here. Four for them so far. Owl 15 hard. Now it's up to Sharky. Sharky trying to find it off the backboard, but Wilson denies it again quickly. Again and again they come knocking, but again and again Wilson has denied them, but it has not been enough. Down three with only five seconds left. That's going to be how game one falls. They're trying to find a fourth, but Owl can't get it to go. An unfortunate start for your Gothic Knights as SUNY Canton takes this game three to nothing. I apologize for the interruption from the dog. He thinks he could do this job better than I can. I'm going to deal with that just real quick. The pop off <laughs> from the dogs in the background. <laughs> a little bit of a dig there. Gotta love it. Just a we little. <laughs> <laughs> but SUNY Canton coming out very hot. A ton of shots there. What was that? 11 shots to four. Wilson doing all that they could in that net. Four big saves, but not enough in the end. Is Charisma a save for them in three shots there? So you need to start finding advantage and a way to take advantage of those limited opportunities. They had them early. They had a chance to strike, but just could not knock that door down. Yeah, I'd like to see them get free of the zone a little bit quicker, spend a little bit more time on the attack. They are struggling a little bit just with the offensive pressure. After SUNY Canton had started to develop that, they started to run away with it. And even in the transitions, they were very effective. We saw at the end of this game, however, Gothic Knights do a good job of controlling the ball in their own corner, not allowing those shooting opportunities to develop in front of the net. I'd like to see more of that. If you're going to be stuck on defense, keep it clear of that shooting lane until you're ready to spring out and attack back the other way. Hopefully we can see that start to get through because we saw those opportunities arise for both sides there, Lars. There were those quick transition plays that allowed some offensive chances and some really good defensive stands we saw. So I'm hoping I have apparently done the wrong thing. I hit join spectate and I joined the team. <laughs> anyway, don't worry about it. <laughs> 10 out of 10, but you got to do it once, right? Oh, pain. That's, that's just how life goes. That is, <laughs> fortunately, fortunately, that shouldn't mess with any kind of replay collection systems as we go forward. But the early attack, first out of NJCU, turn back the other way. Sharky can't quite find the touch on, and Wilson will be allowed to control this one over the top. I'd like to see that they were able to get a, get a shot on net, get some pressure downfield, and it prevent any real attack from developing coming back the other way was very good here. Wilson trying to find it. There's Ooh. no one home. I think he's going to get it here. No, a beautiful save from Sharky. Charisma, though, putting it back, playing that janitor role, able to get your one goal lead here as the Gothic Knights strike first in game two. Like I said before, or alluded to before with some of those opportunities <laughs> that we saw, it's not enough just to stop the ball. You have to clear the shooting lane. Sharky does manage to get back and save that initial shot, but it allows that ball to continue to sit around in front of the net. That's an easy follow through for Charisma. It was, it was, and now Twisty Turney trying to find an answer back to Sharky. They're redirect down. I like the play here as the Ruse are trying to get something cooking early here off the backboard. Wilson caught a little bit out of position, and Twisty Turney takes advantage of it. Owl able to play this play. one down through the corner. I like to see that back wall pass, and Twisty Turney takes advantage of it. Just like you said, that's such an effective way to open up the net is to draw the defense with those back wall passes. And unfortunately, it does bait out the Gothic Knights. They're now tied back up, but they have managed to make this kangaroo team bleed. I'll just twist that knife and open up that wound just a little bit more. A well, double commit there. This could be an opportunity here. It's Alpha get bumped hard there, but Wilson trying to find a long range shot again. A double touch opportunity here. Alpha a little bit too overzealous, not able to find the ball in the air there. That one's going to get turned awry here is what should have been an opportunity. A quick redirect attempt turned away again as Owl couldn't get there this time. Both teams missing on those good opportunities here. A little bit of playoff nerves probably as Alpha gets it up to Charisma. Charisma trying to find Wilson at midfield, but Owl denies that one so quickly. Alpha now trying to beat him in the corner, but Sharky does a beautiful job of denying that one. The Gothic Knights just once again kind of trapped here on their own side, trying to figure out a way to get this ball out as Wilson does so. 
Something interesting to see as this play develops is kind of an avoidance of the front of the net out of these teams. They're really did, spending a lot of time driving through the corners in the offensive end, and it's really the Gothic Knights that have really found a way to get the attack pressure directly on to this Kangaroos team. They need to find a way to capitalize on it. Use that rotation through the front of the net to get physical, get a bump, get a demo, open it up for your teammates. Wilson with an opportunity touched away by Sharky. Tried to make that low boost play, but a little bit too little boost there is now Owl flipping the field here. Charisma trying to get the touch. I like the stall in the corner, but all three players there. Very dangerous spot here for the Knights. Now Charisma bumped hard. Now Twisty Turney has a chance here. Wilson near post has to get up a big time save there from the Brazilian man himself. Now it's off the wall looking for none other than Wilson trying to flip the field here. Looking for it to him off the wall, but can't get it. Charisma throwing it up. He's going to have Alpha coming through, but a good job by Twisty Turney denying that one for the Ruse. Finally, some pressure, some sustained offensive pressure here. Wilson with an opportunity, throws that one wide. A great pass connection from Charisma to Wilson. I like to see them looking for those infield passes. That could be very dangerous if they can find a way to make those happen on net. That could be trouble for the Kangaroos going forward. That was a very good opportunity, and you're going to start getting more and more of those if you can kind of set up those kind of good offensive attempts. Wilson, though, jumping a little bit overzealous in the front of Alpha, and so I wonder if the comms are breaking down or he's just trusting himself to get to that ball. Is now it's up to Sharky, not able to get it twisty, turning, trying to find the soft touch and push it back into the corner here. Now got it past Wilson, but Wilson trying to stay on it here as Owl's up, bouncing off the backboard. It's got to be Sharky here in the corner, looking for Twisty Turney, but not able to get it here. Owl sprinting back, low boost, picking up his boost here, trying to flip the field back, giving up some pressure, but able to control the ball beautifully here. Needs to get it past Wilson, got it past one, loses control here, gets the bump on Wilson though, Sharky. Far down, no, Wilson denying this one again. Wilson flying post to post, goal to goal, just trying to do it all they can here see so far the kangaroos are very calm under pressure they don't feel any kind of rush or panic when they see njcu players bearing down on them i'd like to see some physical play Wilson with opportunity touches that down and alpha tries to cut it back off they don't quite find the touch that scrambling defense from sharky keeps this game tied what i was saying is i'd like to see the gothic knights get a little physical and start to make this kangaroo team think a little bit charisma with a big save before they try to go for some of these calm plays as they may be paying for with their lives it was a beautiful save there from charisma just kind of denying it and now the gothic knights trying to find pressure of their own again but they have looked so much better in transition instead of setting it up wilson has a pass off the wall as sharky pass back to twisty turny twisty trying to find it off the backboard but he's a lone rue here in a room full of gothic knights as wilson is 50 hard there by owl though now, but midfield is Charisma looking for Wilson. Wilson off the sidewall, trying to find something here, but another denial there from the Ruse. Hybrid, a little bit of a misread there, flipping backwards. It's up to Wilson here to put the pressure back on, trying to get the read from Owl, but it's denied so, so fast. It just seems like they're picking up the pace a little bit. Owl with a big demo. This could open up the front of the net. It will. Wilson not quite able to rotate back in time. Owl demos that front player, and Sharky with the follow through. It was a great job of picking up the physicality like you've asked our Knights to do. And I think maybe the wrong team had the stream turn on the background there, Lars, and they took advantage of it and were able to take advantage of that lack shot. Charisma, though, a solid kickoff, has the stall to Alpha. I like the call there as Wilson now trying to put the pressure on, trying to find something here. Two seconds left, ball is up. Alpha, got to get to the ball here, going for boost instead, and that's how it's going to fall. Suni Canton 2-0 here, and now your Gothic Knights are on. A little bit of a scary place. Yeah, this could be tough. With from it, playing from that match point position is never a great place to be. Is never a place you want to be sitting as time goes on. And I'd like to see them turn this one around. I think the key to that is going to be starting in game number three here. Come out swinging, hit them hard right off the bat, bloody their nose, and take advantage of that to run away with this. I oh, I have to refrain. I, so many so many boxing analogies that work so well here, but unfortunately. <laughs> We can't do that. We're not watching boxing. We're watching car soccer. I do yeah. want to talk a little bit about field positioning. Let's look at this. If it's is it going to show? Is it going to pop up? Is it? It's not going to render. Oh, there oh. it is. There ah. it is. Okay. And JCU, we asked them to take it to the corner when that pressure is coming to the front of the net. And you could see that activity from those players really developing in that corner, just like we asked. But, but 
SUNY Canton more than happy to play it, use that space well to try to take advantage of it, driving through that kind of midfield area. We haven't really seen the concentration out of SUNY Canton that really indicates that they're getting lots of pressure in front of their own net. I'd like to see, like I say, NGCU establish some pressure in front of the net and, and bring it downfield, get some repeated shots. Lars, I, I, that is awesome. I have some exciting news. Skinny is in the building. He is in the building <laughs> for the Gothic Knights. They're bringing him in, trying to spark the fire here, Lars. I thought I heard that walk-in music coming in, and oh my god, it is. Skinny is in here in game three, the dire situation. They call his number. This could be absolutely huge here, Lars. I know what this was. They, they, they didn't want to just get through the first round of playoffs with an easy victory. It had to be on the reverse sweep. How else are you going to make a name if you're not doing it on the reverse sweep? They bring in Skinny as a ringer to solid this, you know, solid solidify this one. I can't talk. I feel like I'm absolutely brain dead. Owl makes a big save on Charisma and boof, bail me out. Well, right now, Skinny flipping the ball already. The pressure just kind of flipping sides here as Skinny has one to beat. A nice try there, the demo, but a big save from Twisty Turney. Owl trying to flip the field here as now Wilson waiting with that Fennec, but allowing Charisma to take it here. That two on two. Those guys have been absolutely phenomenal together. Ball off the backboard as Skinny putting that immediate pressure on. Ball bouncing around. Sharky can't get it out here. A good bump there on Twisty Turney, but it's a team bump. It's not something you want to see from the Ruse, but we love to see it here. Charisma. Deed a little bit hard there, but Skinny throwing it up high. He's going to be looking for Wilson here. Is a little bit slow to this ball. Is Twisty Turney just putting it in the corner here? Great pressure early here out of your Gothic Knights. They did a great job of getting that ball down, getting repeated assaults onto the back wall, getting good pressure early in those challenges, not allowing this kangaroo team to have any space to breathe. Now they need to get this back clear and set that back up again and really just strangle out the kangaroos here. Twisty Turney, though, off the backward. A careful attempt here from Sharky, but a big save from none other than himself, Mr. Game 3 Skinny. Great job there denying this one. Now Twisty Turney, 50 hard there by Wilson. Ball floating at midfield. It's up to Sharky here, putting it back down. Charisma trying to win here, but Owl puts the shot on Wilson, getting another save for their trouble here. Skinny into the corner, rocking that Octane here, slowing down, trying to find it off the ground, but unable to find it this time. Charisma putting it back in the corner. I got to say, Lars, this has been like the favorite corner. I don't know if it's the NJCU's favorite corner, if it's the Ruse's favorite corner, but the ball just always finds its way there. Oh yeah, I, as you can see, it just gets hot. It just gets hotter and hotter and hotter. But I think, hey, if you're comfortable using that as a defensive tool to take away good shooting angles, here's speaking of which, Twisty Turney off the pass. That's a gorgeous little play no matter who you are. That was a beautiful ball from Sharky. Just knew all the space that they had and then pushes it away from the backboard. Sometimes those are the hard passes to do. You can get it going laterally across the field, but if you don't get it moving back away from the goal, it makes it really easy to make it and read it. So a beautiful job there from the Ruse. We have to tip our hats there as now it's up to Skinny, putting it up the backboard here on the kickoff play, but Twisty Turney, a great read there on the backboard, turns it away. Charisma, soft touch with the tires. No, backflips into it. Now he's up again, but Owl pressuring this beautifully, just not allowing this NJCU Gothic Knight offense to set up and find something here. Charisma. It's a good read by Twisty, though, as Wilson flips it back around. Sharky waiting at midfield. Now he's trying to find it in the corner. Skinny trying to get it out here. It's in the other corner. Bounces behind Owl. Sharky throwing it up. He needs another touch here. Trying to drop it down. No, can't, can't find it. But Wilson gets another save there. Now Wilson passed one, passed two, maybe no, but Twisty Turney turns it back around. But another big 50 from Charisma. The Gothic Knights are trying to stand tall here on defense, but they need to start finding some offensive opportunities. Well, that's a good look there out of Wilson. I like to see that they're trying to get these transition plays, hit those passes as they come up the field. It's not going to be enough with this 3v3 contest and with the speed kangaroos are bringing to simply drive the ball down the field as a solo player. You're going to need to find a way to get the whole team involved. And we see Charisma, Skinny, and Wilson starting to look for those pass plays, but they only have a minute 45 seconds left to make it happen at least twice to get this game back and stay alive in this series in the playoffs. A very important minute and a half for them, Lars, as now it's up to Wilson here, the soft touchdown. Sharky, though, very ready to collect that one. The boost and demo attempt there from Charisma, not there in time. Owl getting bumped for his trouble, but staying on the ball, looking for Twisty. The soft touch up a little bit too overzealous. They had two commit. If they didn't, that would have been another goal from the Ruse. But Skinny able to keep it on, bouncing off that ceiling. No, it's just going to beautifully curve off of it. I thought it was going to bounce there, but Wilson tries to find it. Sharky denies it again. The Ruse just trying to choke this one out. Just keep the pressure on and not allow any shots. 
65 seconds is all that stands between SUNY Canton Kangaroos and the next round of playoffs. The Gothic Knights struggling to get this ball clear right now. Scrambling a little bit of defensive end with a team bump. Charisma and Wilson tangled on each other. Charisma is able to recover in time and play this one to the corner. They need to get this ball clear. At this point, it is complete pressure, full send as Skinny misses the touch to clear. It's a tactical fake. Wilson with an opportunity gets met high in the air. 35 seconds remaining, Foof. Right now, it's 30 seconds left. The clock's starting to tick, continuing to go here. Wilson trying to find it, but a great shot. He's going to put it past Al and tie this game three back up. There it is. Wilson keeping the playoff dreams alive, cutting across and getting great power to that far, far post. No matter speed and aggression out of Al is going to get that one in time. 28 seconds left to at least force the overtime, not get scored on and continue to bring pressure to this Kangaroos team. But you know, Charisma isn't satisfied with an OT as he tries to put it away there. Not able to find it though. Wilson in the corner looking for Skinny here, but not able to catch it. So Charisma up in time. Ball bouncing in front of the net as Owl flips the field here. 10 seconds left. Can someone find this magical golden goal here? Wilson trying to get it past one. He's got a 2 1 2 opportunity. Gets the boost here. Needs to get back up to this ball. A beautiful touch there. Sharky denying it. It's floating high. Sharky just trying to control it. Kill it for OT. A team bump there from Charisma, but it pops it up. That could be something here for somebody. Owl looking down. Beautiful control here. But the demo comes out from Charisma. Ball bounces down. We finally get OT in game three here. Overtime to stay alive in playoffs. The pressure could not be higher. Skinny misses that touch there. Charisma almost finds it, but Sharky puts it away. The Kangaroos take this one in three. Very unfortunate, but just a great job from Sharky off the kickoff. We've seen some good aerial control from all three of the Ruse players, but just a little bit too much there in the end. Just a little bit too much speed. A little bit too much aggression, a little bit too high flying action, consistency and accuracy as we talk about so, so often. But we saw a great performance out of the Gothic Knights, especially coming all the way down to the wire, forcing that overtime, really pushing this SUNY Canton team to really prove their mettle. But at the end of the day, they do walk away with the victory here and they'll be moving on to the next round of playoffs. A definite GG's to the Ruse. They came out and made a statement 3-0. A very solid NJCU team. You've been following us hopefully throughout the season. You know these guys know how to fight. They know how to play. They pulled Skinny in, and that definitely changed the way of this landscape of this game. I mean, that forced OT. The games were a lot closer. Skinny had a couple big saves, a couple of chances that could have turned into assists. And so that was the spark that the Gothic Knights needed. It just wasn't enough this time. A little too little too late, unfortunately, for the Gothic Knights. But I would like to say thank you to everybody that's played. GG's for starters. Thank you to everybody that's played. Everyone that's put in the support and the time to make this dream come alive. Get all the way down to the playoffs here for your your NJCU Gothic Knights. Thank you to our broadcast, our staff at the school, our players, everybody involved. Thank you, Foof, for helping out with this. I I could look down thank you, here. Lars. Thank you, Foof, for... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that was perfect. I just looked over it. <laughs> that was perfect. I'm sorry. <laughs> of course, we got it open. Okay. But thank you, Foof, for casting with me. Thank you, Leachy, for broadcasting. And again, thank you to everybody involved. But that does it here for the ECAC season for the New Jersey... Jeez, Pete's. New Jersey City University Gothic Knights. Foof, take us out of here, because clearly I don't even know how to say words. All I got to say is this is a pain that we have felt before an early exit last season, an early exit this season. And so just heading into this little bit of a dead period, I know that Wilson and the company are going to be burning themselves a bit here, but this is a team that is built to come back and do this again. I'm so excited to see what they can do. They had such a rough go of it in the early part of the season of not having Wilson even be able to play, but then finding a way to scrap and force their way back into the playoffs and then have a chance here in that series. And sometimes that's all you can ask for in the end. And so as Lars said, he, we had a ton of people here and we're so thankful for everybody. Thank you for watching and supporting us. And we hope you guys have had a wonderful day. And unfortunately, this is where it ends. As Lars said, this is where the season ends. This is also where I and Lars will be ending. And this is where the stream will be ending.